What's up, Legends? LGD Alden here. So, I'm back with episode 7 of my Game Maker Studios tutorials. And just so you guys know, there was kind of an issue when I first recorded this. And then I managed to make two more videos after. So, there's some more stuff in here that you won't have. Don't worry about it. Just kind of act like it's not there. But, so, for this episode, though, what we're going to be doing is... Ammo, so making it so it's like um, an object to pick up for the ammo, and we'll also do GUI for the ammo and stuff, so you can kind of like see it and have an ammo total, everything like that. So, but yeah, so let's get into it. So, the first thing you need to make is a sprite for the ammo, so like the object you would pick up, and then you could just name it SPR Ammo. As you can see, I kind of just made a little tiny ammunition thing, and yeah, so you could do that. I'm not really going to be redoing everything because some of it would get messed up if with all the stuff I have and yeah, but I'll just show you guys it and kind of go over as if I was making it, but just it's already made. You need to center it then, so make sure it's like that and then then you're good with the sprites and everything. You don't need any more of those. Next thing you want to make though is the OBJ GUI, so OBJ underscore GUI. No sprite is needed, but the depth. So the depth is kind of important here. I have it as negative one million because the way it kind of works is it's almost like a layered system so the lower the number the closer it is to you and the higher the number the further away it is so it's almost like if you stacked it so something that's like negative 100 would be higher on a stack than something that's a hundred so it's like you're more likely to you're gonna see it so if you wanted something to be above it you'd have to have a lower number so for this one we're just gonna do negative a million so that it for sure is above everything because the GUI is like just kind of displays text or other things like that information and uh, yeah so in the create event though you need to create a variable global dot ammo so it'll represent as your total ammunition so like the amount you have in total I just have it set to 20 as the start you can have it whatever you want doesn't really matter and then in a draw event you do you could uh, set the color by default I think it is black but just in case draw underscore set underscore color and then there's C underscore black for color black you could do a lot of colors as you can see there's just a ton of them here so whichever one you feel like doing doesn't have to be black and then I set up two variables DX and DY just kinda like draw X draw Y or whatever and it'll be at the view X view and view Y view and what they do is they kinda like so no matter where you are on the screen, like no matter where you are, so say the room is huge and your camera moves around so you can walk around a room, no matter what, it's always going to be the view X and Y. So wherever you're looking at, it'll always be the top left corner, no matter how the room changes and everything. So that pretty much, that's important for the GUI. And then you're going to want to draw two different things for text uh, and you could set it wherever. This is going to be so it's kind of like in the top corner the top left corner but it's just 16 and then 32 so that it's like it goes it's separated a little so you can make sure to see them both the health one you don't have to worry about now that's going to be in a later video but um so you need to make sure so you do the ammo in uh quotations and then you have to add but then see because global ammo is not technically a string already it's a integer more of you have to turn it into a string so you just do string and then you put that there and you'll do the same thing almost except I just put ammo in gun and string and then you'll do object player so you're calling to the object player and you're gonna draw his ammo count which that's already um, already a variable that you should have already that should have already been created so you can just call to that and that should work fine and then um, I believe let me see if I can find where step was it in here um, I don't know. I might not. This might. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to go over what I have and see what I have and haven't done yet. I believe. Okay, so here. So we'll do the. Okay, so now to create the object ammo. So you do obj underscore ammo. Set the sprite. Doesn't matter the depth and everything. But in a collision, so you do collision and then with the player. As you can see, there's already one here. But with collision with the player, so no matter where it is touching it, as long as there's like somewhat of the player touching it. And then it has, if the E is pressed, so if you press the letter E when you're touching it, it'll add 10 to your ammo, so the global ammo. So not what you're currently in your, what's currently in your gun, it's just your ammo, so your total ammo count. And then it'll get rid of it, instance destroy, so it just kind of removes it, so it's like when you kill the player, it just gets rid of it. 
And then if you want, you can set little pieces all over. There's some other stuff in here that you'll eventually see in a later time. And then I don't think there's anything in here that needs to be added. I'm pretty sure everything you guys already have. So actually, here's another thing. This is the one thing. Yeah. Okay. This is important right here. So if key reloads, so you already have that. But the next thing you need is in and if global dot ammo is greater than or equal to 10. So you need to have at least 10 ammo to reload. And then so you don't waste ammo, it'll be ammo is less than or equal to zero. So you have to have no ammo left and then you can reload 10 more and it'll take 10. It'll like put your ammo back to 10 and it'll minus 10 from your global ammo. So if I run it, I'll just show you guys the parts that have to do with the ammo. So you'll see on the screen that now there's the GUI, the health part doesn't really matter, but there's ammo and there's ammo and gun. So if I shoot, it'll be like one, two, see as you can go, it goes down. And then I can't reload now, see as the ammo and gun still there, even if I press R for reload. But then if I shoot two more, I can reload, but it'll take 10 from there. And then um, you can also pick up more ammo, as you can see. So I could just pick up all the ammo I want here and then yeah and then I have enough but I still would need to reload oh, I'd still need to reload so but yeah so that's pretty much I believe that's it actually for this episode I uh, this may be short I don't know because like I said I kind of messed it up the first time I just figured I uh, this is kind of important that I make it actually good though so hopefully you guys, if there's any issues though, make sure guys comment and tell me because I probably might have messed up something. Who knows? But yeah, so if you guys need to come, feel free to comment anything that goes wrong and I'll do my best to help you with it and we can figure it out so you guys can be up to where it should be. And in the next episode, you'll be seeing some of the other stuff that's already in here. And yeah, hopefully you guys look forward to all that. If you guys like this video, though, hit that like button. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.